Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Peace of Mind. I couldn't remember for a second. And um, I've been busy out here. I cleared all the um, all the dirt. Oh, I've got to get rid of these trees. Right. I made an excavator, which is like an industrial shovel, but it works in a nine by nine square as opposed to just a single square. Again, that's another Tinker's construct. Um, what do you call it? Um, tool. That's it. So that made clearing out here a whole lot easier. I filled it back in with um, dirt. I don't know if I'm going to clear all the way back here, so I've left it for now. Actually, I should clear these bits. Because the thing is, when I was doing it, it was winter and I kept getting blizzards and it got really annoying. So I kind of left it and now that it's stopped, this is the first clear day that I've had. Which sounds really weird talking about Minecraft. It's the first clear day, so I could now see what blocks are just floating there. And, okay, what blocks are just floating there and what I need to get rid of. So, um, so I did that in between episodes. I didn't get a chance, oh, I put some spider trees back so I can get string. Um, I didn't get a chance to have a look at how to set up the water wheel properly. And also... The um the river is is um frozen over, so it's kind of hard to set up a water wheel anyway. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, I knew there was a reason why I was outside. With the snow, the windmill stops turning. I don't know if it stops power production, but with the snow, you get um some snow on top of that on top of the the axle and that stops it from turning I don't have anything hooked up to it so I wouldn't know if it stops production but it's just something I'd noticed okay so I went mining I've got stuff smelting up and we are going to start refined storage so the reason why I got the string is because we need to make um, binding processor binding and to make that you need two bits of string and a slime ball so what do I have in my inventory I have one piece of string but I know we're going to get through quite a lot of processor binding so I had the I'm going to get a trunk full of um, trunk full of string at least that's not what I want, that's what I want. That and the string on either side gives you processor binding. And oh, we need another quartz. We have another quartz. There you go. Welcome to RS Refined Storage. And oh, do we do we get all? Another quartz, silicon, slime balls, and string. Yes, we get all. Okay, cool. Um, right, you're going to need a source of power to keep it running, which is why they had us do um, immersive engineering. Although, to be honest, and yeah, I was going to set it up to the water wheel, but I think I'm going to hook up my RS storage to the windmill, which is, I think I probably came to that conclusion during the last episode, I can't remember. But we took out the block here so we can put the capacitor. Did I make a capacitor? I cannot remember. Because if it was in my inventory, then it might be in one of these. No, I think I had a chest that had, yes, it was in these. That's it, there's a capacitor. We need LV wire, not the relay, LV wire connector. That's what I wanted, and I wanted LV wire. That was 
in my inventory. That's, I knew there was something that was in my inventory. Couldn't remember what it was, but it was LV wire. Not in that. Wait, we can use shift, see what's it. Yes, we can use shift. Uh, no cot, no wire. The wire's in that one. There it is. So. And we need the hammer. We need the hammer. Hammer, hammer, hammer. No, that one with the... Oh, and I made an unbreakable wand, a builder's wand. You just need a nether star, which we had made in one of the things, one of the quests. So that was a nether star put to good use. All right, capacitor. And this has no connection, but this would be output. That's input, that's output. You just right click with the hammer and that will change it. And this side we want it to be input. So we need a LV connector. LV wire connector on this side. Put one there. LV wire connector on this side. And then we climb up to the kinetic dynamo. Right, let's have a look. Right, I think we can put it on the side. So we have to change it to, where's my hammer? There it is. Nope. Do we not have to change input and output? I'm guessing not then. That's there. And the wire coils. Where's our wire coils? Here they are. Get the feedback off my hotbar. So we can click with the wire coil. Jump down because we've got the, what you call them, long fall boots. And you can connect it straight. The wire is not, as you can see, it's not bothered by the the windmill blades. So that's not going to, that's not going to do anything with it. And also, I believe in earlier versions of immersive engineering, if you had higher voltage wires and you went near them, they would electrocute you. But that, I think that has been nerfed now, which is good. So the windmill doesn't, the windmill blade doesn't bother the wire, but you wouldn't be able to go through the blocks with the wire, which is why I have the capacitor in the wall. And then on the other side, when we have our little setup in here, you'd click a wire here and connect it to the battery or whatever we're going to connect it to. So let's put these back and uh, that goes there and we want a hammer and our, our, our connectors. All right, so what's the next thing that we need to do? Enrich some iron. Quartz enriched iron. Oh, it's three to one. Oh, well, that gives you four, though. Okay, that's fine. All right. Uh, that's 21. So that should be 42. And that gives us 40. Okay. So get a stack in a bit. Yep, we're going to have to go to the nether. To get that done. Alright, we wanted 32 and we get 32 more, which is awesome. What's the next thing now? Um, raw chips. Okay, craft raw chips with the addition of processor bindings in combination with iron, silicon, and redstone. Okay, so we want raw basic processors. Okay. Uh, basic processes. Spell, Shane, spell. What are we missing? The iron and the redstone. How many do we have? 
we have eight. Okay. So you want Right, we've got eight. Did we want eight or did they want more than eight? Yes, they wanted eight. And we can claim both. Okay, good. What did we get in our loot chest? Mending, efficiency, and breaking. Yeah, we keep getting that. That's fine. Let's put you in there. And a name tag I found randomly in a thing, in a spinny thing. Tumbleweed. That's what I meant. <laughs> um, right. What's the next thing? Um, improving raw chips. Oh, what's this one? Basic chips. Basic processes. Cook them up to make basic processes. Okay, let's do that. Um, where are... There's the raw ones. Let's cook those up. And while we're waiting to make raw chips, the raw improve. We did we what? Hold on. We did raw chips. We did improved chips. And improving raw chips. Okay. So those. Okay. Improve raw processes. So basic, we want improved. What are we missing? More processor binding. See, this is why I had. Um, let's just take out a stack of you. And two stacks of thread. And let's make a stack. Oh no, it's more than a stack. We'll make lots of binding. Okay, so we want... Oh, we need to go look. We need to go looking for redstone. I'd forgotten we needed more redstone and a stack of that. And we want eight. Let's just make what we want for now, and then I can go mining and replenish. Eight, eight of those, and we want eight processors. And we get more processors and 60, 16 gold. And of course, you want raw advanced chips too. Okay. Advanced chips. We're missing diamonds and silicon. How do we make silicon? Because I think they gave it to us as a reward. Oh, we need to burn nether quartz. Okay. So, yeah, we need nether quartz as well. Uh, how many nether quartz did we get? Eight. Alright, you're done. Nether quartz, where are you? Everything looks the same. There you are. Right, now the quartz there, basic chips done, and we get eight more basic processes and 16 cookies. Sounds good to me. All right, we want improved chips, sugar cookies, nice. Okay, sorry, I'm getting all excited <laughs> over pixel food, but there you go. Um, we get those going. We are waiting on our silicon. Got three more. Um, let's put back the string. Quartz enriched iron and processing. 
processes. Do we have... How much string do I have up in here? Okay. Alright, if I put all the string in that top one... Okay. And if I get... We have an upgrade. Where did I see the upgrades? Was it in... No. I literally just got one. Oh, there they are. Alright, if I put an upgrade in that drawer... And then we can put the processes up there and the string. And the quartz enriched iron. And all the string up in there as well. Leave that. Okay, right. Is our quartz finished? Yes, it is. Our furnace is finished. And we want eight of those. How many did we get there? Oh, we've got a whole stack. Okay, that's fine. Alright, improved. We want... Oh, binder. I knew we were missing something. Did we not get a ding? Oh no, I think we got a ding from before. That is true. We did. So we can claim more improved processors. We can claim advanced raw processors. We're cooking those up, and now we need... Alright, we're cooking those. Let's go with that. That's three. we got a couple more. And then we can, once we've got those, core it up. You know what? I'm not even reading the stuff. Um... Okay, it's all quite simple, it's fine. And we want, okay, we need to do the advanced chips. We need to make cable. How do you make cable? Enriched iron, glass, and redstone. So our enriched iron was up here, we need six. We need one piece of redstone. Do we have any glass? Um, cable. We get 12 out of that. Is that what we wanted? Yes, that's fine. And we get eight more cable and a loot chest. Um, the cover. Oh, they want covers and cut it and a cutting tool. Okay, that's if you want to cover up your cables, which is quite nice. So to make the covers, all right. So you need to make the cutting tool, which is two bits of two bits of stick and enriched iron. Uh, da, 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 da. And enriched iron that makes the cutting tool. This one, no, this one, yes. Advanced processors, thank you. Um, right, so we got that, and we can claim four advanced processors and 16 butter cookies. Oh, that is yummy. I do like butter cookies. Uh, oh, we need the wrench as well. How do you make the wrench? Did we cook up all of our basic processes? We may have done that. No, we didn't. Okay. Ah, uh, wrench. Ah, uh, that one that looks like some kind of Swiss Army knife slash gun. There's your wrench. And we get a block, oh, two blocks of quartz and rich iron and a loot chest. Alright, so cover it up. We need 16 covers. So we need. If one gives you six, we need two. We need three bits of cobblestone. 
and what was the other piece they wanted and yeah we need three pieces of wood okay cutting tool and oak planks and the that thing cobblestone right so oh we get more processor binding a block of gold and a loot chest uh, right so we need to make a controller okay um we find controller all right so we need quartz enriched iron silicon advanced processor and quartz and quartz enriched iron i think i just said that machine casing and that is stone and quartz enriched iron we have a piece of stone here are we full yes we are did i suck up the stone uh, yes stone oh let's open the loot crates before i forget Mushrooms, mushrooms, mycelium. Yeah, that's fine. What on earth? Oh, sugar cookies. Okay. Um, let's see what else we can get rid of. One other thing. Let's eat a sugar cookie. They are very nice. Um, let's put you put all this stuff in here giving back the loot crates even the processors my feed bag the cable and the cutting tool give me back all the interesting stuff and you can keep the cookies not that I give away my cookies lightly but you can keep the cookies Okay, let's uh gas tear, blaze rod, ender pearls and biscuit of totality. Okay. Once upon a time it would have been woohoo and now it's like yeah. Mushroom. Right, what were we doing? We need we need a lot of quartz enriched iron. So we need a machine casing. Stone. Did we put back the stone? We must have done. Alright, so there's our machine casing. And we're missing silicon, so we want three of those. that in there because I think we may have cooked up all of this of the silicon or used up all of the silicon I should say uh, do they have better furnaces in this I can't remember because we need um, furnace from extra utilities furnace generator nether furnace Okay, is it faster? An iron furnace. We could try the nether furnace because we have nether rack. I don't know if it's any faster. I'm not even sure what it does. Um, I think that's got stuff in it. That one does. Okay, let's take this one out then. Um, put the charcoal back in. Did we establish if we can break this in down into charcoal bits? No, you can't. Okay. Um, what did I want to cook down though? I don't know. All right.
furnace controller. That's not quite what I want. Okay. You got the controller. Getting to the core of things. Alright, we need a... We need a transporter, chest transporter. I know I probably have one upstairs in one of the one of the things, but you know what? At this point, I am not not going to waste time looking for it. Right? If I put that, where can this go? There. All right, I have never tried using um, these two things together. Refined storage and immersive engineering. Do we have some kind of cell or battery or E? Cell? A cellular block, block of diamond, factory block, no, that's not what we want. Energy, energy. Uh, wireless controller, creative energy source, and ender porcupine? God knows what that is. Alright, capacitor backpack, no. Oh, they've got the scanners in here. Scanners, um, that is in in my Omnifactory Let's Play, and you should be watching that if you haven't been already. They have something called a scanner, which I have never seen before. They have it in here as well. What do you need to make it? Gold, iron, iron bars, redstone, nether quartz. But basically, you use it to scan for things around you. So you can use it to scan for villages and particular blocks if you're looking for them and um, it's very interesting it's a nice little mod I like it all right there's no kind of energy cell battery maybe battery factory block RF battery require stores RF energy is there anything extra you oh extra see this is where knowledge of other mods comes in very handy because then you know like if there's like cells or batteries or um i don't think there's anything let's just let's just hook it up let's see what happens we need a cable and we need this and we need the LV not a work no relay we need a connector did I put it in here no oh we need the wrench on that as well where did we put the wire connectors are they on me I can't tell because they're small and that's the relays we don't want the relays we want the connectors. I just looked in there, didn't I? Oh, there's the connectors. See, I'm... Yeah. Um, suffering from YouTuber blindness. Okay, let's put our connector there on the back. Okay. And then we get our wire. Click it from here put it there all right there's nothing in our capacitor do we have okay it's probably because it has um, snow on it if this is going to be a problem I will disable the um, it's not what I wanted to do. I will disable this mod, the weather mod. 
because to be honest it's nothing but a pain in the rear end where is oh iron bars we can use those to make a scanner um didn't i have oh. ladders somewhere no all right let's see if we can get up there without having to break anything something yeah I should have thought about that are you going to oh god that's annoying. I think I have ladders out here. Let's have a look. Yes. Uh, right. Let's go up the other side. I didn't think that... Didn't think about we'd actually need... Did I miss one? I didn't think I'd actually need um, that the capacitor, not the capacitor, the little doohickey that you click on. I didn't think it would get in the way. There you go. IF. Are we getting anything? To be honest, I don't know. We don't seem to be getting anything. Why are we not getting anything? Why is it not happening? Nothing's happening. Okay. It's supposed to work. That's how it's supposed to work. But there's no... There's no power coming through. All right, I'm going to turn off turn off the season, see if that makes a difference. I don't know. I really don't know. That is just getting on my nerves now. All right, I'm going to leave it for now. Let's keep doing immersive engineering. We've got the controller. We get experience. Do we get something in our... What? What? Ooh, a 1k storage block. Okay, that's good. Did they say we were getting that? Okay, okay. Because I was thinking, where did that pop up from? So we get 1k storage block, 8 diamonds, 8 apple pies, and experience. Right click, um... Here's some experience to earn some basic storage space to get you started. Right, okay. Alright, so, do we get the experience in a little bottle or did it just added experience to us? I don't know. What's the next thing we need to do? Core it up. Destruction core and construction core. Alright not sure what they do I'm sure we could read that in a second construction is basic processor and glowstone and destruction is basic processor and nether quartz and how many do they want no that they want four do we have four yes we have four three four and we have basic processors and glowstone dust that is that. I want four of those as well. Okay, four. Four of those and four of those. And we get four more. All right. Uh, going to need these cores for the grid to build items up or break them down. A trip to the nether may be required for some of that cool glowing stone and quartz crystals. Well, we have that. 
because we've been to the nether. We're not total noobs. Well, kind of. Okay. These are cables that you need to export your items and so on. Let's get these two, this stuff done, at least. The disk drives and the grid. So the grid, you need a destruction, improved, construction, destruction, two improved, machine casing, which I think we already have. No, we don't. Okay, and they wanted black glass, didn't they? I think it is very specific and it wants, oh no, it wants any glass, okay. So we need three bits of glass. We need more in quartz enriched iron. Now we have two blocks in our inventory. So let's break that down. We need a piece of stone. So the stone and the quartz. That gives us a machine casing. Uh, what's this? Oh, okay. Crafting grid. No. We wanted a grid. That's what we wanted. So, the glass, construction core, destruction core, two improved processors, quartz enriched iron, and a machine casing. That gives us a grid. Alright, and we get another grid and four machine casings. That's good. And then to make the crafting grid. Um, right, so to make the crafting grid, which was this one, we're missing a table, crafting table. I, I know I could have got into it from from um, JEI but I just wanted to double check that's what we were making because I didn't want to go and make it and then it doesn't work or we made the wrong thing I should say Crafting monitors, uh, going wireless, we don't need to do that. Pattern grids, no we don't want to do pattern grid right right now. I just want the basics and disk drive, we want a disk drive. I think we might be able to make that. Okay, what's that? Uh, chest. Uh, we don't want the mushroom. Disk drive, chest, there. Okay, now that I'm thinking about it, I do have, you can make a furnace generator, extra utilities. That was something that I just saw. Let's see what if there's any other generators. Um, oh yeah, because extra utilities have lots of generators. So you've got survival, furnace, culinary, magmatic. Um, magmatic uses um, lava. So if we have an end... Do, oh, do they have ender tanks? They do. Okay, because I know you can make an ender tank and stick it in the um, in the nether, and then another nether, another ender tank next to your magmatic generator and pipe it in. But I'm not a hundred percent on how you do that, because you need you need some kind of pipes. 
But anyhow, let's look for a generator. Generator ray tor. Uh, explosive nether star, halitosis, frosty, death, and disenchantment, slimy, rainbow generator. Yeah. Okay, I think we could use the furnace generator for now. Machine block. Okay. More redstone. If we use the furnace generator for now, and then um, I will look at how to set up the magmatic generator. Because, like I said, I'm not 100% on how you set it up. I know the basics of it, and I know what you're supposed to do. Why are you not going in the chest? That's what I was doing. But I would have to play around with it. So that would have to be between um, episodes. But if we make a furnace generator... Uh, furnace. Alright, we didn't get the iron. Iron there. I thought we made the machine block. We need another thing. Alright, furnace generator, machine block, that makes four with this awesome furnace that... So the furnace generator will generate power Did I not put... I've got a... oh there's the feedback Oh, has the feedback got normal seeds in it? Never mind. Right, so that will generate power. Has that stopped turning? Can't see. No, it's still turning. It should be generating power. I don't know why it's not. But anyway, furnace generator. Always on, redstone on, redstone off. We want always on. We want something to burn. Um, coal. I should get coal. Coal is better. Is that... Uh, let's get a, a thing of coal. I've only got 23. We need to go and get some more coal. Alright, that will work for now. That is putting in stuff and that is our, our controller is all nicely lit up. Great. Now, if we get the disk drive... Oh, did we finish that? Yeah, we wanted a disk drive and we get a 1K storage disk. Right, so if you put the disk drive next to it, we can put the uh where are you did i claim it i don't oh yes i did we can put the 1k storage disk in there and we need the crafting grid on top grid crafting monitor crafting grid i think that's what you need on top shift click there you go so now there's nothing in it but then if I put these things in it and we check our disk drive, it's got 169 things stored out of a thousand. And then if we wanted to make more um more storage, more disk drives. It's quite simple. They're probably going to cover it during the in the tabs and uh, let's see 1k it's grindy but it's simple so the storage block actually I think I can convert that back into a 1k storage part but to make the storage parts you need silicon glass redstone 
and a block of quartz enriched iron and you keep going up and they go up um so you've got 1k hold on i think they've got 4k 16k 64k 256 refined and then drive no storage take off caps lock right so you've got 1k 4 16 64 it only goes up to 64 and it keeps going up so to get a 64k you need 316k plus these other things so it gets more and more intricate so you have to make a shed load of 1k's in order to get what you want and then um you can store fluid as well although i don't know why you'd want to store fluid in your thing if there's no power it goes offline and then you can't access it which is a real pain as well but um yeah that's basically refined storage it's a very simple setup and not too expensive so if that is an option in your game there's also something called um Applied Energistics, which has a similar setup, but it's a lot more involved. It involves finding meteors and getting um, presses to make logic chips and calculation chips and other kinds of chips to make your components. And it's a lot more involved. It's a little bit more complicated. This is very simple. So a lot of people like refined storage, although as far as I understand, it can be very... Um, if you're on a server it can make your server lag so some mod packs do not have it in but for all for what we want this is this is very simple and it's it works as basically it uh, right so we've done that um, get some upgrades oh yeah there you go 1k storage part we just had didn't we just have that I can do that because I've I had I I had the storage disk or did I just make it into I think I probably just made it into the disk drive didn't I yeah I think I did no yes I think I did we could have just made the 1k storage piece but okay we can do that too before we finish all right so we need silicon we need glass all right one two three four bits of silicon uh two pieces of glass i think or three we need some enriched iron and I think we needed some redstone silicon no we haven't actually smelted it up yet right let's put uh, the nether furnace I don't think is any faster than the regular furnace if it's faster it might be fractionally faster but not that much faster okay but well, that's not a problem i guess it's oh, i don't know all right we just need another one one more right right now can we make it what we oh we needed one more we needed four not three there you go Okay, we get another 1k storage part, more machines casing, and a loot crate. The storage block... I don't think I broke that down. What did I do with it? That is really going... to bug me. Oh, did I put it in here? Yes, I did. <laughs> right. That was easy. 
and we get three 1k storage parts and then they want us to make the others what's this putting it together 1k storage disk okay uh, 1k storage disk we're missing two bits of glass you do use a lot of glass in this All right, we've just made 1K storage. Awesome. Um, and we claim that, so we get one 1K, one storage housing, another loot crate. And this is, upgrade your RS items to add speed and other helpful things. There are many different types of upgrade, including fortune and interdimensional options. Okay, we can do that, although they want six. And what was the next thing? They also wanted us to make storage blocks, which I can do offline because I've made the first one. Disk manipulation, what's that? Time to manipulate your storage and transfer items or fluids between disks. It's a block that adds a fast way of transferring items between storage disks or fluid storage disks and the storage network. Okay. Okay. And you get four 1K. What do you need to make that? Okay. All right, but I think we are going to stop pattern grid but you can make patterns and patterns you can use to to craft things <coughs> excuse me you can use that to craft things and then so like if you had to make a whole set of for example destruction cores it will just do it automatically but i've got the basics so i will do some i will do these offline um these cables are basically to connect up to your your other bits of storage so the external storage block provides the grid with storage of the inventory or fluid tank in front of the device, such as chests or drawers. What's this? Destructors. Destroys blocks or fluids in front of it and puts the drops in the storage network. Uh, the constructor places items or fluids from the storage network into the world. Exporter extracts items or fluid from the storage network and inserts it in the inventory or a tank in front of it. And Importer imports items or fluids from an inventory to the network if there's space. That is the thing. If there is space. If you don't have enough space, you can't store anything else. So ultimately, you want to get like 10 64k blocks. And then, you know, you start getting storage. And you can have multiple disk drives as well. So, these I could do offline because they are very self-explanatory. There, and it's dead simple. The storage I would definitely do offline. And wireless crafting. Wireless crafting basically is when... If you want to, because obviously you are tied to your network. So one, you can only access things here. But if I was outside, for example, and wanting to, um, to access things, then yeah, you can use your wireless network and you can access your network from outside. And then I don't have to come in and get something and then go back out. So that's that's basically it. But I will do I will do a lot of this stuff. The wireless stuff we will probably do on camera because I've never really used it. I think I tried it once and it didn't really work. So we can go through that together. Um, the cables I will definitely do off camera. The storage I will do off camera. What's these? Advanced fluid storage, adv basic fluid storage, interface fluids, interfaced. Okay, and we can, I can, we can look at this 
if not the next episode then the following episode and then finish off this tab and then we've got our storage system and once I've made these storage blocks offline I will transfer all my things into the storage system and I will look at getting because this this is um it's using stuff up very slowly so I will look at getting some kind trying to pipe something in or getting getting something we'll see how that goes but I really don't know why this isn't working it's not getting any power I don't know if it's to do with the weather I really hope it isn't that but like I said if it is I'm going to have to take out the weather mod and just leave it to normal Minecraft world did I never put anything in there okay not that I need them now anyway because we've got our storage so I am going to leave it there because you know we're, we're almost done with this which is awesome so thanks very much for watching please like comment and subscribe it really helps to grow my channel and I will see you guys in the next episode okay thanks for watching bye bye